Hello, my name is Chris Stanks. I'm the director of the Host and Heroes. I'm going to show you how to install Direct Admin on a CentOS server. Before we get started, you'll need to go over to Direct Admin's website and order a license for your server. You can see the difference between the license options on their website. They've got a trial version, personal, light and standard. The standard version, which is $29 a month, is available to all of our customers for around $10 a month. So you signed up for a server through the hostandheroes.com, it'll be around nine to $10 a month for a direct admin license. Okay, to get started, make an SSH or terminal connection to your server. So before we start direct admin, a couple of things we should do first is first check for operating system updates. So I'll just do yum update hyphen y, and this will install any updates. If you've got a kernel update, I recommend after this process, just running the reboot command, just to boot into the latest kernel. Next, you just want to set your service host name. So that you do that in the host name file, and then just enter your host name here, and then close and save. And then you want to run the installer for direct admin. So all of these commands I am typing are in our blog article and the link can be found in the description below. Once the installation's finished, you will see higher up just the admin username, temporary password, and then the link to log in to direct admin, which is what we'll do now. So once you're at the direct admin page, enter the username and the passwords that you got from the terminal. And this will log you into direct admin. If you want to change the password, just click the drop down here, click password, enter the current password that was from terminal and then just enter the new password that you want to use going forward and that's it you've now installed direct admin i recommend watching our other videos for how to configure direct admin how to set up let's encrypt we've also created videos for migrating from cpanel thanks for watching and comment on this video if you found it helpful